Life in the kitchen of a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier is evidence of precision, scale and the importance of morale through food. Feeding thousands of personnel on an aircraft carrier like the USS George H.W. Bush involves meticulous planning, with a team of around 93 cooks preparing between 16,000 to 18,000 meals each day following a fixed menu cycle for 15 days. In large-scale food preparation operations covering the provision of 16,000 to 18,000 meals per day with a budget of $1.8 million per month, significant logistical challenges and needs arise. This becomes particularly relevant when discussing food operations on an aircraft carrier. With such a large number of meals and cooks, as well as a substantial budget, raw material procurement must be done in large quantities while meeting the required quality and freshness standards to serve the aircraft carrier's passengers. Certainly, an aircraft carrier has adequate kitchen facilities with cooking equipment and storage capacity to handle a high volume of food. Additionally, managing a sufficient number of cooks and production staff to prepare and serve 16,000 to 18,000 meals daily is crucial. Establishing an efficient logistic system to distribute food from the kitchen to the dining areas on the aircraft carrier is essential. Accommodating diverse nutritional needs and dietary preferences from passengers originating from various backgrounds and cultures is also a consideration. Planning and executing different menus each day to provide variety and cater to passengers' diverse tastes are important. Maintaining high standards of food hygiene and safety in accordance with industry regulations and practices is a priority. The infrastructure on an aircraft carrier that manages food preparation for a large number of passengers requires sophisticated facilities and equipment to meet all the food requirements. The primary infrastructure includes the main galley. The main galley or central kitchen is the operations center where food preparation for the entire carrier takes place. It consists of cutting, preparation, and cooking areas with large cooking equipment such as industrial stoves, ovens, and large pans. Then there is a large food storage warehouse that serves as a storage facility for raw food materials and bulk supplies. Food items like meat, vegetables, fruits, milk, and other daily necessities are stored neatly to meet operational needs. Specialized equipment such as meat slicers, vegetable washers, and other cutting tools are provided in the meat cutting and food preparation areas. Specialized cooking equipment includes large convection ovens, industrial grills, large pots and pans designed to handle high food volumes. Aircraft carriers are often equipped with food heating equipment such as stoves, water heaters, and small ovens to prepare instant meals or heat ready-to-eat food. Large refrigeration and freezing equipment is used to store food in optimal conditions and ensure the freshness of perishable food items. The galley on an aircraft carrier requires good ventilation and an air filtration systems to cope with the heat and humidity generated during the cooking process. In the morning, a culinary specialist on the aircraft carrier typically begins the day with supply reception. After greeting the logistics team bringing fresh food supplies from the port, the cook usually heads straight to the large warehouse.
There, the cook and their team usually check the quality and quantity of newly arrived food supplies. Assessing the freshness and condition of food materials is a key step in ensuring high quality in every dish to be served. Late morning, after a supply reception, the cooks and their teams usually plan the start and discuss the menu for the day. The cooks must consider dietary preferences, nutritional needs, and taste variations to ensure passenger satisfaction. After selecting the menu, the cooks then detail the preparation plan and compile a list of required ingredients. Coordination with the logistics team and the main galley is the next step to ensure ingredient availability when needed. In the afternoon, the main galley becomes the center of activity as the crew and cooks begin food preparation. The kitchen team starts by cutting, washing, and organizing ingredients. Some dishes require specialized cooking equipment and careful timing is usually observed to ensure that dishes are ready when it's time to eat. By evening, as the appetizing aroma fills the galley, the cooks are in the final stages of preparations. Some work closely with the chefs to ensure that each dish meets the desired presentation and flavor standards. Our food heating equipment is ready to warm up the dishes before serving. And when it's nighttime, it's time for dinner and preparing to serve the passengers. The cooks and their team arrange the dishes beautifully, ensuring clean plates and perfect table settings. The cooks always communicate with the service team to ensure smooth service and provide an unforgettable culinary experience. On the last night after the last dinner is served, the cooks and the team conduct a brief evaluation of the day's menu. They usually take note of passenger feedback and identify areas for improvement. Then the team returns to the warehouse to create the order list for the next day and ensure that supplies are sufficient. In the evening before ending the day, the crew and cooks typically engage in cleaning the galley and planning for the next day's preparations. Effective communication with the logistics team and menu planning is key to ensuring that every step in the galley runs smoothly. As culinary specialists, ensuring sustainability and quality in food provision is a primary responsibility, making each day a unique challenge and satisfaction. You can see that teamwork and precision are crucial in meeting the diverse needs of personnel on an aircraft carrier. The best flavor was chicken. In the context of food preparation, effective communication is essential during food preparation and serving to understand the diverse needs of personnel on an aircraft carrier. Teamwork in planning diverse menus is highly important. The planning team must also consider various dietary preferences, allergy limitations, or special dietary needs of personnel who may have different nutritional requirements. Training for kitchen staff and culinary teams with good training on various dietary needs and cooking techniques is a must. This ensures that personnel can respond appropriately to special requests. Then there is the service team, which must work synergistically with the kitchen to provide services that meet personnel's needs. Flexibility in serving, such as ensuring that food is served in appropriate portions or allowing menu customization, is important.
Lastly, the team must respond quickly to changes, such as unexpected passenger numbers or sudden menu requests. This requires good coordination among various teams. On the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers, food storage and preparation involve advanced technology to ensure food safety, quality, and cleanliness. The use of ethylene filters is one innovation that can be applied to extend the shelf life and maintain the quality of fruits and vegetables on such carriers. Ethylene filters can be used to control ethylene levels, a gas produced by fruits and vegetables that can accelerate ripening and spoilage. The use of ethylene filters on the Gerald R.R. Ford class aircraft carriers can help preserve the freshness and nutritional quality of food during storage.